Paige, Dimikas, how are you? Hi, Kay. How are you? I'm glad you're having me on to talk mock drafts because that's all we do, right? So I'm, I'm here for you. I know. Anything what you do we, need with what, the mock drafts. Give me your big, you know, here's what I would like. I would like your overarching, what is the theme? What makes this draft special mm -hmm. and what's standing out? Yeah, I think in comparison to the last couple of years, the talent in the positions that the fans get excited about is at a high level. Whereas the, the last few drafts, you know, you've had really good edge rushers and defensive players, but that's not the sexy stuff, right? The sexy stuff is the quarterbacks and the wide receivers. And you're talking about, I mean, good Lord, you could have <laughs> seven of each of these guys going in the first round. I mean, I'm looking at this and I'm going, wow. Like you're talking about Adonai Mitchell as we come in. And I'm going, man, if he slots in at the back end of the first round with Kansas City, how many guys are going ahead of him, right? And I think that's the theme of mm. this is just the, the talent across the board with those two position groups, specifically the quarterback group. Since I've been, since I've been doing this, this is the, the best talent top to bottom uh, with the quarterbacks, which is always exciting, especially coming off of a year where you saw C.J. Stroud have an impact right away for a team. There's a lot of NFL teams that are looking and going, please give me C.J., right? They want that, they want this year's C.J., and I think that's what everybody's looking for. Okay, well, are the Bears going to take this year's C.J.? <laughs> I laid out the case. I mean, I'm from Chicago. You know that. Yep. Justin yep. Fields, I th as it stands today, March whatever, I think they – Chicago's best interest, though it's unfair, and Justin Field is a victim in all of this, because of timing, they should trade him and draft a quarterback number one overall. What do you think? Dad, turn off the camera. Please turn the TV off now, because my dad's, a, a, Kay knows I'm a Chicago yeah. Bears fan, and, 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 I know, and trust me, deep in my heart, I want Justin to stay. But everything with my brain and my logic and the conversations I've had, Caleb Williams, just with timing, as Kay said, timing is everything in, in, in any relationship and anything that happens. It's all about timing. And you really have to understand the financial dynamics that come across here with having to pay yeah. Justin very soon after. That's that's a very big part of this. Even if even if Caleb Williams comes in and he's even okay, just let's say he's not even better than Justin Fields. It's a win for the Bears financially because of the cap flexibility they have over the next few years. So to me, it's. It really is very logical to draft Caleb Williams and to move off of Justin. And I know Bears fans, I think, are very split here because we've watched the Green Bay Packers in the division kind of do the opposite for a very, very long time and have a lot of success. And I get it. I understand. But I, I think you just there's too many. You, you can't let Caleb Williams go be an absolute phenom somewhere else. You can't back to back years with the number one overall pick, not taking a quarterback is a pretty tough sell to the fan base. That being said, if the Washington commanders with new owner, new GM, yeah. new head coach, Wild hometown card. kid, kind of a LeBron James ish effect with Cleveland, right? When you're talking about what Caleb could mean for that DMV area, if they're willing to give up a lot, the bears can sell that to the fans and they can put a lot around Justin. So I know that they have their kind of their barometer, and I don't know if Washington's going to do it, but we'll see. Yeah, Washington definitely a wild card. They need to sell tickets. They need there's a whole new mindset there. It's a mindset that's very asymmetrical uh, to what yeah. we see NFL ownership do. So it's, it'll be really really interesting. Now between the workouts and the film and the guys you talk to in person, going back to the Senior Bowl, you do this all year long. This is your life. Which of the prospects, whether it's quarterback or somebody else? Who are you like falling, you know, who are you into that isn't getting the love that they should? I think specifically I'll, I'll start quarterback. Um, and maybe it's cause I know the kid Spencer Rattler. Um, I live out here in Arizona and I always tell people, I can't imagine being a 16 year old, right. With a Netflix show going undefeated in Scottsdale, Arizona. If anybody's ever been here, it's a pretty hype city. Okay. So it's a, it's a, it's an easy place to get full of yourself very quickly. And he was 16. And I think a lot of people got a very unfair misrepresented version of him and he has matured tremendously. And one of the more underrated aspects of this is because of the different offenses he's been in, he is very pro ready from a, from a processing standpoint, from what he's been asked to do. And at the end of the day, I talked to every offensive lineman when I was at the senior bowl and I asked them who was their favorite guy to be around that week and character wise and fun wise. They all said Joe Milton, which is why he won the good huh. guy award. 
But quarterback wise, it was Spencer Rattler. And it's because offensive linemen can appreciate when a guy gets hit in the mouth and has to come back. Right. And that doesn't happen very often for quarterbacks. We know they usually are up on a pedestal and they don't yeah. have to they don't have to really, you know, get down and dirty. But Spencer has. And, and a lot of people appreciate that. And I see him being able to go into a locker room and, and kind of galvanize that locker room very quickly, just maturity wise. It's so interesting. Cause I was talking to Luke Keekley about this yesterday because he keeps talking about Bryce Young's toughness. And I'm like, does it really matter? Like he got sacked 62. Mm. And he, he he literally looked at me and he goes, you have no idea what that yeah. means in a locker room to watch somebody yeah. get the kicked out of them and yeah. get right back up. And obviously Bryce Young was able to do that. Whether he could withhold and withstand all of it was the big question, but it's interesting to hear you say that. Toughness actually really does matter, especially um, as far as winning in a locker room. Hamilton's texting me, hold on. He loves this rattler. <laughs> Started at Oklahoma, went to South Carolina, <laughs> has had a lot of success everywhere. Four years as a starter, he's in on rattler, so we love that. Is there another team, let's end it here, we look, yeah. you know, obviously Chicago's super interesting. You mentioned the Commanders as a wild card. Is there another team that's really intriguing when it comes to mm. the different directions they might take? I think it has to be the New England Patriots because we've watched this organization and Boston, such a great sports city, have a complete and total focus for my really my entire life <laughs> as a sports fan um, since I was a kid. And maybe it's because I'm watching Dynasty on Apple TV that I'm totally dialed into what's going on with the Patriots. But this is this is a totally new regime. Seeing somebody, you know, Mac was kind of a, a place filler and, and them, no Bill Belichick, right? Yeah. No Tom Brady. It's going to be weird, Kay. Like yeah. to look out <laughs> on the field and not see Bill and Tom. I'm going to have to look twice, like losing yeah. Saban and Bill in the same year. I was like, hold on a second. Right. Like I was like, maybe you guys could just like do this in different years because my whole growing up has been watching Nick Saban in college and Bill Belichick in the NFL. And so it's just, it's going to be a new regime for them. And what are they going to do? Are they going to stay with the Bill Belichick way, the Patriot way, or are they going to make a splash? They, are they better do make something a splash because it doesn't work Girl, with the way yes. Bill Belichick way. I'm, it's, this might be yes. like the best thing that ever happened. It's like his one huge indictment. I hope so. I hope so. I know Patriots fans. I talked to. I got a lot of family in Boston. I got a lot of <laughs> a lot of sports fans. Very close to Chicago. Yeah. Right? Very devout sports fans. And man, they are desperate desperate for something to happen and I keep telling them too bad don't feel bad for you six Super Bowls sit to the side and be quiet right yeah. and they're like no 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 we we need something now and I'm like well it's it's Boston and Robert Kraft doesn't want to wait around any longer they've had some tough years and the expectations winning Super Bowls so we'll see what they do but I'm very intrigued about what they're going to do and what that quarterback room is going to look like next year I'm intrigued about the text you're going to get from your dad after this as he girl. disowns you for girl. saying that they should, that they should <laughs> girl trade. you have no idea <laughs> trade you have no Field. idea I will say this. You and Hamilton are in on this Rattler. I'm out. I don't like okay. the last name. It reminds me of snakes. <laughs> snakes are my biggest fear. <laughs> Hamilton, as we take it to break here with Paige, like, I, I'm out. I just, you guys are wax. You guys are <laughs> hyping him up. I'm dead. Rattlesnakes. That's so funny. <laughs> That's my draft report. <laughs> Mm. A rattler in Arizona too. It's just yeah. I know a bunch of like I know a bunch of Spencers. I don't know that I've met a Spencer that I love. Like I'm out on the Spencer same. rattler. See, see, here's the thing. That's how I know that I really love Spence <laughs> because I don't know a single Spencer from high school or college that I like. So sorry for any of you that are watching, but that's just it doesn't have a great name that resonates girl with math. me. But I'm telling you, girl math, girl rattler, math. <laughs> rattlesnakes. Not into it. We appreciate you oh. so much, Paige. Hi, Paige's dad. We love Chicago. We love you. We're the president. <laughs> CEO, an absolute badass with the Draft Network. Paige, 